There are a couple of other atmospheric phenomena that you should be aware of, and I will give you examples of them that result in significant precipitation due to the uplift of air masses. One of these is frontal systems, and you may be familiar with this from reading the weather report. Here, if I were to draw a cross section, a vertical cross section, of an air mass that was moving of cold air. And this boundary here was the front between this cold air mass and a warm air mass. What can happen is as this cold air is moving across the surface of the earth, it is denser than the warm air mass and it can, will push this warm air mass up and it will cause it, it will force it to uplift. And when that happens, it will expand and cool and create precipitation. Now, th these kinds of frontal systems typically dominate precipitation patterns in the mid to high latitudes globally. So they're very common throughout the continent. The other type of system that I want you to be familiar with are called convective systems. And I'll draw another cross section to illustrate this. If this is the ground surface and it's a very hot sunny day, the sun can radiate energy and heat up the ground. In some places the ground can absorb heat very quickly and that will cause the near surface temperature of the earth to increase rapidly. When that happens, it will warm the air here causing it to rise and that air will rise and expand until it cools and reaches the dew point again and starts precipitating out moisture. These are what are responsible for the thunderstorms that you'll see in many parts of the country. And relative to frontal systems, they're of smaller spatial scales. These can be hundreds of kilometers across in terms of the horizontal distance on the earth that these frontal systems are moving. Convective thunderstorms are typically smaller, so maybe on the order of 1 to 10 kilometers. The other point is that these frontal systems can persist for days, whereas convective thunderstorm systems are typically fairly short-lived, lasting for a few hours.